Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm trying to record here. I'm actually filming this in my front room on a Sunday. Sundays are usually my day off, but uh, yesterday I went to Leeds with an amazing group of people, creative entrepreneurial girl bosses who are so inspiring. Um, and they took me to some amazing gallery shops and galleries in general um, and an amazing art supply store called Fred Aldus, Aldus. I'll leave it here. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a whole video of all the art supplies and also books and things that I ended up buying and you said yes. So here I am on a Sunday in my living room, welcome to my home and I'm filming it with you. I'm so excited. First place we went to was Colours May Vary and it was like a little gallery shop. So let's get into the first Thing that I bought. Also did really cute postcard things like this. I don't know if it's focusing. I'm sorry if it's not. I'll do a little insert. I had to pick up these postcards just because they were adorable. And the first thing I bought was Jumblewood. And this is a children's book, but I am collecting children's books because if you don't know, my ultimate dream is to be a children's book illustrator. And I've actually completed my first children's book commission this year. So my first dream is achieved, but I would love to have a huge collection. So I have been enjoying collecting children's book of illustrators I admire and this one I actually seen on my Instagram she is called Helena Cavell and I've had her on Instagram for quite a while and her style is so fun and so it's kind of like a mix between colourful minimal and experimental and can we just appreciate the insert pack pages of this book like oh my god the patterns are amazing She's so colourful and fun and experimental, so I had to get that. So that is the first, oh look at this page. This is so pretty. So yeah, that's the first book I got and I was so buzzing when I seen this. Yeah, I've been meaning to get it for a long time, so as soon as I seen it, I was like, that's going straight in my basket. The next thing I got was gift wrap. And it looks like it is by Helena Cavell, but I'm not, sure if it is oh no it's not so this is by rap so contemporary illustrated stationery by rap i don't know if you can see quite similar to helena cavell's style from jumblewood and the reason i bought this was to use it as backdrops if you haven't seen my other youtube videos i um show you how i do my backdrops how i make photo boards i collect gift wrap like this pretty patterns and textures for my online store and i photograph with it in the background and i thought this would be a really really cute background that was another thing that was all i got from color may vary um because i wasn't planning on buying anything on this trip we were just meant to go and like have fun um and it ended up being more than just fun it ended up being an art supply trip so the jumble wood book was 11.99 and the confetti gift wrap it says on here was one pound 90 which i think is a bargain actually it's really nice texture so i'm excited to use this um, as a background considering i spent 39 pounds <laughs> in fred aldus or aldos fred aldus the receipt's pink this is how i know an art stationery supply store is made for me when the receipts are pink considering i spent a lot the bag is pretty small um but i got some really cute stuff so let's get into this bag Ooh. so the first thing that i got was yay another midori notebook i don't know if this is focusing it probably isn't there we go now midori notebooks are 
from Japan, I think, and they are cotton paper, or partially cotton paper. And I have had one of these before in an A5 size. And, oh, guys, honestly, I love drawing in these books. The only thing I would say is you need a piece of paper wedged um, underneath, especially if you're using like marker pens because it does soak through, but it just goes on like butter. The pens go on like butter and I absolutely loved it. So I ran out of space in my last Midori sketchbook. So yeah, that was that. Next up is the pens. So, first pen I got was this Salmon Pink Chow. Copic Chow, sorry. Now this um, pen is literally a pen that I've used and I have already, but I've run out. And it is such a beautiful colour. It is salmon pink. It's got the right tone of orange in it, but not too orangey. And it's beautiful. And I ran out of this pen because I used it all the time. So I thought I have to get this again. Next pen I got was Horizon Green and I don't have these pens that I have now I don't have and this looked like a really nice colour um, they have a little swatch next to the uh, next to the display and I drew on I was going to get the light colour actually but I um, had a look at what this drew on like and it was really nice next one I got is just a yellow and it's just called yellow um, called iridescent mauve and this is a pretty now I have a colour pretty similar to this one um, but I think it's a shade darker so and I actually did my lilac the mermaid enamel pin with one of these one of my pin designs with the one that is darker than this so I wanted the one that was slightly lighter so that's why I got this one the next ones I got are two blue pens and they are in frost blue and aqua blue and I don't really have many blue uh, Copics, so I really wanted to get these and I wanted to experiment with them because who doesn't love pens? So yeah, these are all the Copic pens that I've got. They're all pastel colours, as you can see, because I freaking love pastel colours, guys, if you don't know already. And what else did I got? What else did I got for that English? 100%. Um, oh, so I've got a pro marker and this is in the colour Orchid and this looks like a really 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 nice colour and I can't wait to use this one. Again it's like a purpley lilac colour and pro markers are considerably cheaper than Copics. So let's get the receipt out and see the price difference. So for the Windsor and Newton pro marker it is £2.40 per pen. Now you can get them in multi-packs but I prefer to buy them individually because what I found with multi-packs is I used to buy them and I wouldn't use maybe three of the six colours so actually it worked out less cost effective than I wanted to because I wouldn't even use three colours in the pack so that's why I buy them individually now. Uh, so yeah the Winsor & Newton Martin uh, markers was £2.40 and the Copics with £3.95 each. That's £4 pretty much a pen. And these are less than £2.50. So that is a considerable price difference. And I actually think Windsor & Newton pens are like, you get more ink in them. So, mm, but I do love my Copics. I do love them. But pro markers are just as good, I would say, as the Copics. So if you're on a budget or you want in the in-between range of the Copics and maybe a cheaper pen on the market, pro marker is definitely worth a try. I have loads of pro markers um, as well. I am a fan of pro markers and I'm also a fan of Copics. So yeah, so if you are looking for a budget-friendly pen, I would probably opt for the pro marker pen. And the last thing I got, oh I'm sad I'm going to the end, was this Faber Castell pencil. It's called Light Magenta and it looks like a really, really gorgeous pencil and it is polychromos. And I got a big multi-pack 
of Faber-Castell pencils so I'm just slowly adding to my collection with the pencils that I haven't got and mostly they are pastel colours. That was what I got from the haul but I have more to show you because as I said I was out with some creative boss ladies and they brought some goodies along with them to dish out um, which I wish I thought of, I wish I took some pins and stuff to give to them and I just didn't think of that so I'm so sorry. But so now I'm going to show you some amazing pins and things that I got and I put them in my little pink cat bag that I made. First thing I've got are these cute socks from Liz Harry and the little roller blades. How cute are they? I absolutely love them. They are amazing. <laughs> I'm so blessed. Let's get all the Liz Harry stuff out because she is amazing and I love her. <laughs> Next thing I got was No Good Kids enamel pin and it is rose gold and white and black and it is amazing. And then I got this gorgeous peachy keen jelly bean. I've had my eye on this for so long and I was going to get it and she's so cute because she thought of me and she knew that I love pink so she brought loads of pink pins that she had along. These are amazing. They're like these heart enamel pin things but they'd be really really good to put on a collar like each side and they're just so simple so cute and I can't wait to put these on my jackets I'm going to take them on and off and I'm going to just wear them all the freaking time and there is this gorgeous rose gold and glittery pink gem enamel pin which is flipping stunning I love it so thank you so much Liz, I felt so spoiled by you, you're amazing, I love you, okay, bye. Oh wait, it's not even the end. So here's another one by Liz Harry and it is the Dare to Dream Lethal Pin, and I'm pin, Dare to Dream Rainbow Pin, <gasps> and it's so amazing. So everyone, it I had kind of a pinch me moment, um, because when I first started catnip, I had Instagram obviously, and I used to read Etsy Quit Your Day Job uh, vlogs, and I used to see these things by Colourful Company, who I ended up going out with yesterday, Tony, hi Tony, and um, it was a pinch me moment, because I used to watch these girls go on these creative walks, and look at these girl bosses, like, oh my god, that is the goal, like, I would love to be able to do that one day, and yesterday, I was like, this is actually happening like I'm actually doing this I'm on this walk or this amazing meetup with these creative entrepreneurs that I've looked up to for so long and I am sat amongst them and I just felt like what is going on like the law of attraction is literally amazing I am so blessed and I could not have done it without you guys and all my supporters and followers and friends on Instagram it is all because of you thank you so so much totally went off track there and then the last pins was from Tony B who I've just spoke about who hosts a colourful company if you haven't heard of a colourful company and um, and you're a creative entrepreneur or an illustrator or an artist or whatever you want to call yourself freelance designer they do colour walks and they arrange them all across the UK and it's where everyone gets together and they go on a big colourful walk where they find some beautiful street art and great photography spots and it's a great way to network and meet new friends and yeah she's amazing and Tony hosts it and I got to meet her yesterday for the first time so hello Tony she's also a freelance illustrator and these are the cute pins she traded with me well not even traded these are the cute pins she gave me. Look how cute they are. So there's a rainbow, a little chubby moon and star. They're just so cute. She does a similar thing uh, where she keeps the backing cards nice and minimal and they look really nice like this. Like say if you're doing a craft fair, if you had them lined up, I do the same thing. I keep my cards like the same, like different colours so they kind of look like rainbows. So when they're on your display, look really pretty that's it uh, I know I haven't had a huge haul here but I really hope you enjoyed it this is a last minute really chilled video in my front room and I hope you enjoyed it and yeah thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for making this a dream for me like dream come true I know I'm 
still a beginner, I'm still at the very beginning of my journey and I can't wait to see where the future takes me with you guys. I've made so many amazing friends and I just love you all. I'm giving you one big fat internet hug right now. So I love you all, I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be uh, conventions part three, selling at conventions part three and the video after that is finally going to be how to pick a business name and how I picked my business names. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. I love you so much. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Give me a smudge.